What's up, peoples? Dono here with uh, MasterFlash.net. For this video right here, I wanted to show you an example of what we create in the Drupal 7 Commerce for Beginners. What you're looking at is the uh, you know simple install. We, we did a basic Drupal 7 install for the latest version, and we also did the uh, you know Commerce module for the latest version as well. So what you're looking at is the front page of the root install that we did for this tutorial. Uh, this is the front page. All we had was we just you know published the products to the front page. That way we can see it in the feed and kind of play around with the ability to you know if a product's variant in feeds, can we get it to adjust in here as well? That's obviously not what we focused on in this, but I just want to show you an example because it is front and center right here. For the dog collars reference, you know what we have the ability to do is change this from small to large or medium and force the price to even update in the feet. So if I go to large, you can see that the price adjusted from 11 to 44. And of course, if we go into the MF and dog collars, okay, the idea here is to you know create product variants and have them adjust based on user selection, allowing us to really maintain our products inside of our stores. What we would need to have happen is if somebody select a small collar, the small image needs to show up as we're looking at. If they wanted to adjust it to a medium, we need the medium image to show up for that particular product as well. On top of that, we need the price to adjust accordingly You know, for products that uh, do change on cost for sizes, colors, or whatever, You know, extra attributes, whatever you want to call it. So uh, if I go down here and select medium, check it out. Medium image shows up, price adjusts to 20. If I wanted to change it to large, large product or picture shows up and the uh, cost adjusts as well. We learned how to create basic products, basic product setup on top of you know products with variants and the, the process that we went through doing that was creating product types, taking products from that product type, creating content type that can actually pull the products from the admin and push it to the front end. A lot of good stuff in this tutorial. You're, you're going to learn how to set up product variants and all this good stuff. On top of that, uh, you're also going to learn how to incorporate uh, tax, you, you can have a flat tax or uh, tax based on si state or city and state and all that good stuff. That's the kind of things we show you how to do in here. And um, on top of that, we also show you how to set up uh, some shipping options, which is very cool. And uh, it's, it's done with somewhat of stable uh, shipping modules that uh, Commerce suggests that we use. That's the uh, scoop for this. Okay, I can just kind of roll through and show you all of the, uh, the, the products that we created. And again, this was just a, a basic product that we were doing some testing on a, uh, a custom product type and a custom content type that allows it to be pulled through the front end. Okay. Display, obviously, we can you know put uh, comments in here, and I show you how to remove these just like in this uh, MF and doghouse. Okay, so everything's good here. And um, if I head, well, let me go ahead and remove my uh, shopping cart here. Go into view car so you can remove this or see what happens here. I'm just going to remove this product. I can head back into the uh, MF and doghouse, add the cart. So we see the $55 here. You know, if we want to uh, view cart, okay, we've got the $55 here and uh, check it out. Here's why our, here is why our price adjusts from $50 to $55. If I check out, what you can see is happening is we've actually got this adjusting, you know, your tax rate by state, shipping costs, and all that good stuff. And what we can do is obviously, you know, incorporate different uh, shipping rates. Okay, we've got the billing information. Then, of course, we have the, uh, you know, uh, shipping information as well. All of which does essentially adjust the product cost, having a, you know, functional checkout process with tax and shipping and all that good stuff. 